Is it hard um, when you've all got so diversified interests now uh, to be sort of come under the one banner, being the Rolling Stones, to suddenly it is a time to record, to sort of have to all merge together? It is it's not hard, no, because to me it's the most natural thing for us all to be together as one unit instead of all going on doing different things. So I don't agree with him, yeah, because that's what I was saying before. It took that, like, twice as long this time, I thought, Right. To get back to that sort of ESP that you have, you know, when Keith does something, you naturally go with him and all that, you know, you sort of do it without even thinking, and it takes about a month to get in. It took us a month to get into that sort of situation. Right. Just, oh, well, I was just already brainwashed. It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you, you jam with them a lot. Well, I live in, in New, New York, York with him, see? see? And they, yeah. He kind yeah. of goes around the house and falls around, but I don't, see? Well, I mean, going back to the time when, when you were doing the solo stuff, was it hard then to shake the the Rolling Stones image? Not really, because I didn't play with other musicians. It was pretty much all what I was doing at home. Right. Just with one guitarist friend, that's all. And I did the whole album like that, and we sort of put a drummer on overdubbing, but it wasn't like playing with another band. Right. It was like messing around on my own, which everybody does yeah. in their houses anyway, so it wasn't that different. There's always going to be the Rolling Stones, as long as... As long as pop music will exists. continue. Yeah, exactly, you know? Still known as the greatest rock and roll group. Is it hard to go back to a Rolling Stones situation? I asked the same thing to Ronnie and to Bill. Yeah. What did they say? They said it's hard in the essence that when you're all doing individual projects to come back and then be expected to be a group in a studio um, just like that. Yeah, it is kind of, it is hard. I agree with them. It's, it's tough, you know, and uh, it requires a lot of patience and work from everyone and stuff. Um, but anyway, the results are there. It takes a while. What it happens, I guess, is that it t it takes a while to break it in. Right. At the beginning and stuff, and people have to sort of leave a little bit at the door, and so on. And you, you tend to expect things from people, and sometimes they don't. They can't give them what you expect. I mean, I expect a lot from everyone, and at the beginning, I think everyone, you know, was reticent to give or what. I don't know what it is. It's very complicated. It's a lot of uh, inter personal relationships and so on as well as right. music and and um do you know people so well that you know everything they do you can sort of tell whereas if someone you just hardly know then then you you wouldn't take any notice of it i don't know right okay i mean like like just the very fact that you have to write songs um be it you or keith or whoever yeah. you know um and to go back into that situation how hard is that because that surely is the hardest part just yeah, it is hard. I mean, it, it it's all it's uh, writing them, playing them. Are other are other people going to like me? The thing is, when you do solo projects, you write a song. Right. That people, it's great if they like it, but they don't have to love it, you know. And they just play it and they do it. Um, you know, when when you're in a band, the band has to like the song. You can write a great song, you can spend months on it or ten minutes or whatever, but you you love it and you go out there and you say, L listen, and they go. It really can be bring you down, I think. Right. And that happens. I mean, you know, Keith plays me a song, and I say, I'm sorry, I just can't, I don't see it, you know, where is it? And vice versa. That's difficult in a band. Do you have the desire to go back on tour for a while? I'd love to go on the road, but right now, I think, to be perfectly honest, up to a year in the studio with the Rolling Stones, I could do it with a little time away from them. Right. Um, I mean, you know, I think it's a little bit, the relationships are a little bit fragile. I think to go on the road, it, that will show on the stage. I mean, you've got to be, I don't say this to the Americans because they don't ask the questions right. But, you know, I think you've got to be more in harmony. And I think that, that you, otherwise the show on the road is the drag. It's boring, you know, it's not fun. So I have to wait until that happens and work on that a little bit. But I, I'm, I p personally would love to go on the road. Have you got that patience to sort of spend that amount of time in any country to do a tour? Not with the Rolling Stones. I mean, the, the, after you've been on the road two weeks with them, it starts to get frazzled, everyone. Right. <laughs> you know, you just said it. That yeah, was, okay. You know, you know it, it gets really um, difficult. You know, people go absolutely mad. I don't know why this is. It's always been like that. And so that they don't tend to last, you know, 50 gigs. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, yourself and Jerry, um, did you ever think that you'd really become concerned as a father? I've always been concerned as a father. No, but I mean, like, did you ever think in the early days that, bang, I'd be a father and... Yeah, oh, yeah. father, you know? 
Yeah. No, well, I'm concerned. I mean, I think you've got to take care of kids as much as you can. Um, uh, but um, I mean, I always thought that I would have kids after I'd you know done my kind of thing on the on the road. You know what right. I'm saying? Like yeah. after ten years on the road, I didn't want to have them before that because I've never have ever seen them. You obviously love rock and roll to the hill. I do. Why? If I knew that, then it would, you know, I mean, that's one of the things I ask myself occasionally, you know, why, but it's, uh, I don't know, but one minute it wasn't there, you know, living in England, BBC, you know, one minute it was how much is that dark here in the wind, and then you give me Heartbreak Hotel, baby, and I know what I like. Right. Yeah, you know? and it's really just a matter of that, it's just a feeling, right? More than anything to me, it's a, like, take me away. I've always, you know, even when, even when I started playing it, even when I was like a pimply little kid, uh, what I really liked about good rock and roll was actually the maturity of it, and not, you know, I mean, the, you know, I just felt the adolescent side of it was just because I was 18 or whatever, 17 or 18 when I started playing it, and, you know, there's nothing you can do about your age one way or the other, and, uh, all I've found is that going that I enjoy playing this thing, and and, and it's one of those awful cliches, you know. But I mean, like a lot of cliches, there's always an element of truth in them. If you know, it's uh, the more you find out, the less you realise you know, and it's it's just fascinating. It's in, so intriguing to me, and, and especially with the Stones now, because we're probably in a position to make. You know, more than anybody else, we're still together and uh, to make the thing grow up. You know, right. because I started. You know, it wasn't just rock and roll, it was blues. I mean, I worked with Muddy Waters six months before he died. Right. You know, guys. That, what else are you going to do? You know, fret work or uh, you know, building model aeroplanes. I mean, it's all I can do. It's what I'm good at. It's what I love. 